Warning, the following video is extremely disturbing. You've been warned. Do you think after waiting nearly four hours that I got a sandwich at something about her? Do you think after, do you think at any point they came around with samples? Like, I don't know, a free cookie, like a shred of a peanut butter and jelly, which is on their menu. Um, I just left something about her and I am doing an emergency podcast episode, okay, to discuss this. It's up on the Sarah Fraser show right now. I can't believe this. I fully expected to go to something about her and eat crow. We had doubts if the sandwich shop was going to be good. I thought I'm going to be apologizing to Ariana and Katie. And then all this crap went down. And I love supporting women-owned businesses. I love supporting small businesses. When I lived in D.C., they called me Sarah Small Business Fraser. I mean, what I, I just experienced, I had people that worked for uh, Business Insider was there and they were like, we haven't seen shit like this. Life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. Okay, this was like, am I out of pocket? Like, if you're gonna make people wait that long, you're not gonna give them coupons? You're not gonna do anything? So the business insider might have told Sarah Frazier, according to her, she's never seen shit like this. But the journalist that wrote an article about their experience at something about her actually said in the last two paragraphs of the article, my five hour wait had finally come to an end. Was it chaotic? Absolutely. But what stood out to me even more was I had never seen anyone in line get mean or angry. Obviously, they weren't paying attention to Sarah. As we walked away from the cheerful yellow and white striped awning, I watched multiple people hug and exchange Instagram handles. It later struck me how ironic it was that a show centered around tumultuous friendships had peacefully brought so many people together. My stomach was empty, but my glass was half full. The reporter from the Business Insider who was standing in line near Sarah Fraser also posted a picture of a cookie that she said she'd gotten from something about her. She said, they still let us step inside and grab some pastries and chips. I walked through the small but charming 15 seat restaurant painted in a lovely shade of teal. People were finishing up their sandwiches and one girl told me the Reese was the best chicken salad sandwich she'd ever had. I grabbed a bag of chips and a pretty solid chocolate chip cookie. Why didn't you get a chocolate chip cookie, Sarah? Small business, Fraser. <laughs> Oh, you're out of pocket.